Hi, in this video, I'm gonna turn this watermelon into a remote controlled boat. Also, I just finished my university, which means that I'm unemployed. And if you're unemployed like me, you would know that it's really boring being unemployed. To quell our bottom, we're gonna kill this watermelon, do some programming, and put machinery that works into the watermelon. Then we'll go test it out. And so, do you think I'll move? Nah. So here's a simple circuit that I've made. It includes all of these. It also includes some computer bag. As well as TV room. It's literally my home's television room. So whenever I press a button on the remote controller, a unique infrared... And son, what's a good sound for infrared? Pew 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 by the infrared sensor. It gives me a unique number. We'll give it to the computer. Computer bag. Turn on the light. Just like this. We can also move server motors as well as brush motors. So with the circuit working well, it's time to design the watermelon boat for the build montage. While you're watching this, allow me to thank Hako for collaborating with me on this video. Hako Products is a local SME that produces soldering and desoldering tools for Singapore and Southeast Asia. Here in the video, you can see me using their soldering tool, the FX Triple Eight D. This soldering tool is a huge upgrade from the ones that I was using previously. It allows me to change temperature settings. It heats up within seconds. It even comes with a great looking stand. So if you're looking for a soldering iron for your next project, do check them out at hako.com.sg somewhere here. With that, it's back to the video. Uh, what a good angle. We got this done, but we need a quality assurance test, right? So we're gonna test it out to see if it floats. I mean, it floats. <laughs> so instead of it being flat like a one on the water, it's actually going at this angle and the bottom half is too heavy and it keeps dipping into the water. I decided to shift the center of gravity towards the middle of the boat by towering the motor upwards instead of towards the rear. This helped to improve the stability of the boat and as you can see from this test run, it worked like a charm. And son! Can you move? You can go biking with me. Now? There's so many mosquitoes here. Ah. Did you get mosquito bites? No. Cotton so many. We are yeah. here. Yeah. I have no idea where we are. Low, low salita, eh? uh, cotton melon boat. Yeah. Buri is gonna sink and then all my electronics spoil. It's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna be able to watch that. Either. He's gonna be scared. Is this the right one? Get back. Okay, something's wrong here. Where is this supposed to go? Oh, it works. That's right. And so, do you think I'll move? Nah. Okay, go. Oh, it works! Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how far it goes. Oh, it's not. It, it, it's just gonna go. So yeah, I can make it done. Floating around. It's going in a circle. Ooh. Wait, water's getting in. <laughs> you want to make it move? Press number one, okay? Okay, ready? You need to aim here. Number one. one. Number one. Aim it at this spot. Oh, that's what you're looking for. Oh, it's getting stuck in the... Drinks! gonna sink and then all my electronics spoil. All my electronics spoil. Drinks gonna overturn, Sergio! Oh, no, no, no! <laughs> no! It still, still works. It still works. Oh no. Nani. It's okay, help me catch. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, the slipper got lost again. I'm surprised the Arduino didn't spoil. Oh, it stopped working. I told you it was gonna tilt. Okay, um. I'm not gonna fix it here, so I guess that's the end of this video. Bye! He's outside. Well, cool, it still works. Hi, I'm Cedric, and I come from Singapore. And on this channel, I love doing fun, stupid tech projects, just like the one that you just watched. <laughs> if you enjoyed watching this video, consider subscribing, it really helps out the channel. Hit the like button, leave a comment down in the comment section, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!